Welcome back. In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to set up your OnePlus 13, the brand new phone. And we're going to be setting this phone up by transferring data from your older Android phone. Now sitting in for the older Android phone is my S24 Ultra, it's a Samsung. And let's see how much data get, gets transferred and what you can actually transfer from your older Samsung to the OnePlus 13. So the first thing you want to do is obviously make sure these two phones are in close proximity to each other. And then you want to go to your OnePlus 13, switch it on, and then tap on the blue button, select your language, tap on next, select your region, and then hit next. And then you have the user agreement and user privacy protection policy read that and then tap on next and then you should see the option to set up using another device now if you had already set up your oneplus 13 and now you feel like you want to transfer your data from your older android phone then you might have to do a factory reset and then start the setup process all over again so that you come to this page so select whether your other phone is an android or iphone now since mine is an android i'm just going to select android device and then it's going to ask me to scan that QR code. So it says on your other device, tap setup to open the scanner or use the camera app. So I'm just gonna go to the camera app on this phone and then scan this QR code and then tap on that button. There you go. So it says continue setup on your new device. So to verify that it's me, to transfer Google accounts, settings, and more, enter your other device's PIN. That means your PIN. So the PIN I normally use on this phone, if it was a pattern, it will ask for a pattern. But since it's asking for a PIN, I'm just going to enter the PIN I normally use on my older Android phone. So I'm just going to pause the video to do that. Once I enter the pin, I can just tap on next. And then it's going to transfer my data, my Wi-Fi connections, my Google account, everything it can from this Samsung to the OnePlus 13. Now, the kind of data and the amount of data it transfers might vary slightly depending on which Android phone you have. But for Samsung, this is how it's done. So it says this may take a few minutes, so just be patient. And now it says contact operator to transfer. Now I have some, I have a physical SIM card and an eSIM in here. Now it's asking me if I want to transfer. Now for now, I don't want to transfer any, so I'll just leave both of them unchecked. If I wanted to transfer my eSIM right now, I'll just uh, have them selected and then I can have them transferred. But for now, I don't want to transfer anything. I'll just tap on next. It's going to ask if I want to copy data from my Android device and I'll tap on next. And now it's getting ready to copy my data. Then now I'll see this page where I need to choose what to copy. Now we have apps, photos and videos, music and other audio, SMS messages. Uh, we have device settings, which means Wi-Fi passwords and stuff like that, even Bluetooth connections, your call history, everything. So since I want to transfer everything, I'm just going to select everything. If there's something you don't want to transfer. So for instance, if you don't want to transfer your apps, 
or maybe you don't want to transfer photos and videos you can uncheck whatever you don't need to transfer but but if you want to transfer everything like me just keep everything selected and then tap on copy and then of course you have to set the uh, unlock method now password is already selected because it picked the password I used to use on this phone so I can tap on next and then I have the Google services tap on accept and then you have the option to back up your device now you can turn that on right now or later I'm just gonna turn it on from here and then you have your normal introduction like uh, Gemini and stuff like that just hit continue that's Google so because both phones are Android that's going to uh, always come up so I'm just gonna say no thanks for now because I'll set that up later and then it says anything else is one more thing to set up on your OnePlus 13 you can also find it later in settings which is another email account so I'm just gonna choose no thanks for now now for now I'll just sit back and wait for all this data to get copied it's pretty fast from what I'm seeing and also from what I'm seeing on my Samsung it seems to have disconnected the Wi-Fi so there's probably a Bluetooth connection between the two phones and that's how it copies and that's why it's important to keep the two phones in close proximity to each other it's copying pretty fast so I'll just wait there you go so everything copied I'll just uh, it says also copying is finished here so I'll just tap on done and it's gonna start getting my phone ready now here it says finished I can uh, tap on close And then of course you have the option to join the red cable club which is basically the oneplus community i'll skip that for now and then you have recommended services i'll just agree to that and then i'll choose the layout whether i want gestures or buttons i'll choose buttons for today and then tap on done and it says i'm all set up and i can just tap on let's go so now of course you have this uh notifications uh, update with Android 15 but for now you can see even the app arrangements is more or less the same if I open up the apps I should have more or less the same apps on both phones okay you can see I have YouTube music I have YouTube studio now some apps are specific to Samsung for instance I cannot get Samsung notes here because this is a Samsung phone Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below. If you found this useful, don't forget to leave a like, possibly even subscribe for more tips, and I will talk to you in the next one. Good luck.